General Zaluzhny made a mistake. He openly admitted it in his interview with the Economist that he just underestimated the level of losses that uh, Russian can tolerate. Uh, we praise him uh, as one of our uh, heads of our um, general staff, the first, I think, head of general staff, who was not trained as Soviet or Russian general. This is his uh, b big advantage, his strength. He does not think as Russian or Soviet general. Uh, he thinks more like a Western type of general when he is planning his operations. But, on the other hand, he forgot who he is dealing with, because he, he doesn't think like them. It is on one side his strength, and on the other side it is a bit of a weakness, because he forgot that for Russians there is no uh, casualties are just a means to the end. They don't care about casualties. They don't care about losses. To them, the more people they lose, uh, throwing body at the enemy, the closer they are to victory. The, this is just... People are just raw materials that can... I mean, that you should throw enough bodies at the enemy and you will win. That's their strategy. And it was during the the whole history of the country. Because, let's see, in the past they were all, they always had a, a very huge uh, standing army, huge and uh, crudely organized standing army, sometimes uh, quite outdated, uh, and uh, they, when the war started, they were amassing all this uh, uh, amount of people and equipment, and they were rushing it at the enemy very clumsily. They received a bloody nose normally, and uh, then they were trying to win the war by throwing enough bodies to making a death con conveyor, but not of enemy troops, but uh, of your own troops. But I mean, if you throw enough bodies at your enemy, and uh, those people you are throwing, they, they have uh, self-preservation instinct. They will try to uh, get to, to kill also your enemies. And in this fight uh, of attrition, you will attreat your enemy as well. So, uh, this is, uh, to them, it is just... We are going to keep on throwing people, our own people, at the enemy until the enemy, there is enemy no more. And uh, that's the way of uh, them thinking. But now Zaluzhny, I think, uh, just uh, came to his senses and uh, understands that if he wants to win this war, he will, he will need to inflict much, much, much bigger casualties on Russia. Uh, there is a danger of thinking that your opponent is the same as you. And uh, this danger was not... Uh, this uh, mistake done, was done not only, I think, with Zaluzhny, but with uh, other leaders as well. Uh, is, I mean, Western leaders, the heads of the state, they, for some reason they thought that they can convince uh, Putin on anything, that they somehow are equal or even uh, higher, or I mean of higher status than him. But uh, to him they are just flies, he looks at them like uh, uh, flies that live one or two days. He knows that politically he will outlive them. He outlive uh, Bush, <coughs> the son, he had lived Obama, he had lived uh, uh, Trump. Now he thinks that he will outlive uh, Biden, who will be, he hopes he will be out of office um, uh, next year after the ele elections and Trump will return and uh, he will make a deal with Trump on uh, Ukraine's um, expense. Probably that's the way he thinks. So he has nothing but uh, he feels nothing but uh, contempt 
for um, for those uh, officials, and they don't understand it, and they have some mistaken beliefs that they can convince him on something. They cannot. They cannot. Uh, so don't make a mistake of thinking that your enemy is the same as you, that he is uh, that he, you can convince uh, your enemy on something. And you can negotiate with them because, especially if it is Russians, <coughs> they think that to them negotiation is um, when Putin, for example, says that he is open to negotiation. He means he is open to uh, accept uh, Ukraine capitulation because it's uh, not it's it is his way of saying words that, that uh, they have uh, a bit different meaning that he that with normal people so that's all for today have a nice day and uh, till next time Slava Ukraini